y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY, and today Danny is going to be making a Halloween sign that she came up with and decided how she wanted to do it. So if you follow me on social media, which links are down below, you'll have seen a list of everything needed for today's project, and you can also get that list on the community tab. So what we're going to do to start off is Danny's going to tell you everything needed for this project. So let's get to it. So first, what you're going to need for the craft is you're going to need a, a sign, a vinyl. vinyl, a marker, white, little, uh, Halloween cutouts. Yeah, ha Halloween cutouts. What's that? Speckle, whatever. Yes. Okay, yay! Rope. Alright, so <clears throat> in regards to that, I said Halloween ribbon, but apparently I don't have any Halloween ribbon, so we're going to go with the twine. And scissors. And glue. And glue. Alright, y'all, so let's get started and we'll do the very first piece. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do, depending on what kind of sign you have, if you have one that's multiple parts, you're going to take it apart and take the hanger off and then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be doing the spackle let me get it open for her and she's gonna spackle the two bottom holes now if you don't have any holes then you don't have to worry about that so she's just gonna if you've seen my other other of my videos with signs that's what we're doing right now so get in there good Let me see, Danny. You see how it's like that? Mm -hmm. She's never done this before, y'all, so I thought I'd let her try it. Please just do the same thing over here. Try to get it in there. You'll need more. Don't do a whole bunch more, but... I'm just trying to show her how it works. Yep, just like that. All right, and then we gotta let it dry. Sorry, let me show you. I thought I had it in camera. So, you just put, fill the holes with the spackle and then you gotta let it dry, so. All right, y'all, once this is dry, the spackle's dry and you've sanded off the little excess, we're gonna do the vinyl. And to do that, we had to measure and draw that out it is ten and a half by five and a half inches and now we're gonna cut that and then apply it to that so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off screen so I can cut it for her and then we'll move on to the next step all right so I'm gonna go ahead and do this for her because this is gonna be a little bit more difficult to do so I'm just gonna peel off the backing and hopefully I don't mess it up And then I'm just gonna try to line it up and put it on there. <coughs> Give me a second y'all, hold on. Hold on. All right y'all, so I forgot how thin the vinyl is because I don't use it a lot, so I had to go ahead and paint over the sign just so the stuff would not show through it. And now I'm going to attach the vinyl to it. And I gotta go slow because I wanna make sure it lines up and covers it, if I can get it to do it. And then when I get done with this, Daniel will take back over doing her sign. And even if I miss a little bit, it's not a big deal if I find out that I have a little bit of the 
vinyl off of it. Cause you can't like cut that off? No, I meant like right here, didn't get all the way, I have it too far over here. It's not a big deal cause it's not really noticeable. Yeah. But yeah, we're gonna cut off the excess. Which you're going to need an X-Acto knife or a craft knife to do that with. I'm sorry, y'all. Sometimes I remember and then sometimes I'm like, oh, I didn't get everything I needed. So, there you go. Now we're going to get the X-Acto knife next and cut. And then I'll give it back to her to finish. Alright, so now I'm going to take my X-Acto knife. And I'm going to cut the extra off. Cause we don't need it on here. And you want to go around and take your time and do this. Cause you don't want it to have any problems. like I'm having sticky, sticky, where it sticks to my fingers sticky problems there we go hey oh it's stuck to my stick there we go don't worry and I'm just gonna go around and cut it all off mm -hmm. now I would suggest if you're doing this with your kids I would suggest you cutting the excess off, not the child. Yeah, that's why I'm not doing it. I know I wanted to say to y'all, um, I told y'all the measurements for this. And if you don't have this precise wood or this size wood, of course it's gonna be a different measurement the to cut for the vinyl so which I got these at Walmart after 4th of July give me a second y'all now look up close you'll see the wood kind of like a wood grain through it I think that looks so cool so we're done with this and now Danny's gonna move on to her next piece all right, so next part, she's just going to add the embellishment she wants to put on it. And she needs to have that silicone pink thing on her finger before she does this. So she don't burn herself. Whichever finger you're going to press down with. Put one on each, just in case. We want protection. you got to be safe when you do this. So she's just going to add some hot glue to the back of the witch. And then she's going to stick it where she wants to stick it. She don't just stick it on there, then you're gonna clean that up afterwards, otherwise it's gonna be dry. And press down. Mm -hmm. Now you gotta move faster than that when you do it, because if you don't, it's hot glue, it dries fast. We'll clean up that all later before we move on to the next step. So now she's gonna do the next one. We always want to protect our little kitty's fingers. Protect our fingers too if we want to. So she's going to add the glue and then stick it where she wants to stick it. And press down. Don't move it. Don't. Just let it dry. Go on to the next one. We'll clean all that up after. And now the last one she wants to stick on there. That's one you really need the protection for. Because it's so small. Because it's got all them holes. Stick it where you want. See how it comes up? There it is. Alright, so we're going to let this dry and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so she wanted to put Happy Halloween on there, so I went ahead and I wrote it out for her to copy. So she's going to do that right now with the paint pen, which the way you, go ahead Danny, the way you do it is you shake it with the lid on really well and then you hold it down on the paper towel till the paint comes out. Cool. 
Not perfect. Doesn't have to be perfect, Danny. Just copy it the best you can. If it was perfect, if we wanted it perfect, we would have bought it store perfect, right? And she picked white. I just wanted to let y'all know. Y'all do not have to pick white. Y'all can pick whatever color y'all wanted. But she wanted white for the lettering. So that's why we did it. And I messed up. And I should have had her do the bat last. But I wanted to make sure there was room for her to write the words. So if it comes down to it, I'll pull the bat off if she's having problems. You need me to help you with that last bit? Yeah. Oh, you got it. Okay. I'm not helping her because, like I said, I we did the bat already, and we just want to make sure. And there is her Halloween sign, which she's gonna hold up to show you in one second. Let me hold it up for her. And okay, the last thing we're gonna be doing is adding the hanger but that's what it looks like so far all right y'all so I went ahead and pre-cut the twine that she's got going above her head when she can't see it and the way I did it was which you do not have to do this way we're gonna we're going to um, loop it through the two holes and just tie it and it's gonna make like a circle kind of thing I don't, it's not really a circle but you know what I mean so that's what we're gonna do so I'm gonna tell her how to do it right now so you're gonna feed it through here Hold on, y'all. This is one of the things I don't like about twine. No, just stick it. You put it in, use that to stick it through, yeah. Hold on, y'all. This stuff, this is why I don't normally use twine. I'll tell you that right now. Unless you can just get through. Oh, no. Hold it for you. Get going there. Alright, and then you're gonna take this and she's gonna come all the way over here and feed it through this side. Now that it's fed through, we're just going to take and get it about halfway. Can't leave it dry all the way. Oh well, we made a mess. And then we're just going to tie it in a knot, and then we're going to add some glue to make sure it does not move. So get the hot glue, Danny. And then we're just gonna add a little glue on there. <coughs> and that helps hold the knot <coughs> in place. And then once it dries, we'll cut the little string. But there you go, that is her Halloween sign she created. Yeah. All right, y'all, that's it for today's video. I think she did an amazing job on making her little Halloween sign that she's gonna take home and keep for herself, right? I absolutely love how it came out. I hope y'all enjoyed it too. And if you did, please, please, please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below because it helps my channel grow and the bat fell off. We will fix that in a minute. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all next time. Bye. All right, y'all. We fixed it. The white wasn't staying on, so I took a black Sharpie and I rewrote Happy Halloween. She likes it. And I will tell you this. I think it looks cute and again as a goodbye please 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 if you do like this video which we had fun make doing it like share subscribe and comment down below because it does help my channel grow and we will see you next time bye